Hello and welcome. I have had <laughs> a lot of new, uh, a lot of new visitors lately, um, and a lot of people uh, being fed my "How I Won the World Championships" video, uh, posting comments underneath saying, "What the fuck is this? What's going on?" Much confusion. Um, not particularly going to try to address the confusion today because you watch the rest of the video. That's what's going on. Uh, but since there's so many new people around here, I thought I would take a few minutes to talk about. How can I give this a go? Um, if you if you look at any of this and think that looks like it might be fun, or if you look at it and think that looks like it might be fun but it's far too hard, uh, then here are a few thoughts on how to get started. First thing is uh, you can just go to this website play play.xl-esports.com. I'll put all the the links and stuff in the video description, um, and you can set up a free account. Um, and there are uh, there are like 10 different cases here that are available on a free tier without, um, you know, no no payment, no nothing. Um, and anytime you want, you can just hit play, start a game. Uh, let's say I'm going to do one of the uh, one of the easy ones from the free bundle, Excel Athlete Basics Revisited. There's a bunch of different settings you can use for like, do you get answer feedback? How long do you get? Blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to hit the apply uh, template. Uh, save settings, um, and then once this game is set up, other people can join it if they want, or you can, uh, or you can just kick off. <laughs> I got a crown now because I'm the winner. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, you can have people join. You can have a chat here, uh, but I'm just gonna hit start game. Um, and once you start, you get here's the places to put in your answers. Here's the leaderboard. Obviously, I'm the only one on it right now. And then here's the place to download the file. So let's download the file. We'll open that up. <clears throat> and enable editing because files from the internet are scary uh, and I don't know why it's down at the bottom but we'll come back up to the top so <clears throat> usual layout uh, you know this is the the like where it's from so this is from the Brazilian chapter uh, this is the name of the case Excel Athlete Basics Revisited um, case author uh, and then these are the kind of general instructions, and then there's bonus questions at the top, and then level specific instructions. Um, and this this case is on the particularly gentle side, but usually the first one level or several levels start off with kind of pretty basic stuff. So in this case, it's just saying you know pull out the first three characters from this. So you just say left of this by that. Uh, and often it's the case that you know if you know a few basic Excel functions, that's all you need to get started take your answers, put them in the platform, and it'll tell you, tick, 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 those are good, move on. Or, you know, if you've got one wrong, it'll tell you, hey, watch out. Uh, you can tell it to not give you this level of detailed feedback, so it would just show you your overall score, but not tell you which one you got wrong if you want a bit more of a challenge. Um, and then you can go on. Um, yeah, we'll get into slightly more complicated stuff after that. So here you want to find the sum of the two largest numbers here. Um, so you could do this by doing um, actually, let's uh, yeah, let's just do it by doing text columns. So we say Alt A E uh, delimited next uh, delimited by space and that uh, and finish and that'll dump that out. Oh, and it'll turn some of them into dates rather unhelpfully. So I'll just change that format back. Uh, you can do options in. Um, in text column to not do that, but anyway. So in this case, we want to sum of the biggest and the second biggest, which would be large of that uh, by one two. Uh, or you know, I mean, there's dozens of other ways you can do this, but that's not really what this is about. So that's for another time. Uh, and you work away. Uh, is, so the whole idea is it'll kind of build up in complexity. So we get into you know later levels where it's it's more advanced. You need to work with more complicated things. You need to work with with colors. You need to uh, you know, build your logic on top of itself, but the, the details of any individual case are not the most important thing for this. So, join here. Uh, you can, you know, play those 10 free cases, explore. Um, let's just come back over here. Uh, there's there's a mix of difficulty levels, so this this one is the, uh, the finals from the latest World Championships. Don't start there. Uh, Excel Athlete Basics Revisited is a good starter one. In Excel We Trust is a good starter one. Perfect Date and Soulmates is a little uh, little date heavy, uh, but a good one. 
Um, Toy Tycoon is a little bit more financial model-y. Um, but anyway, th those are some good options. If you play all of these and you want more, uh, then I have a uh, Google Sheet, haha, <laughs> controversial, um, where I have a tracker of all the free cases. Um, so the, the first column here has a filter for the competitions that these are from. So like Model Off, MEWC, uh, if you don't know what all of those are, don't worry about it. Um, I would suggest starting not with the non-competition ones are like free community cases that people have written and shared. Um, they're great, but the level of difficulty is quite a bit more variable, whereas the competition cases are kind of calibrated to be within reason, you know, 30 minute cases uh, of, of varying difficulty levels. But if you come down to the, the ones from the MEWC, the Excel World Championships, uh, a lot of the local chapters put out free cases uh, last year. So you've got you know, all of Chile, uh, a few DAC warm-up cases, a few UK warm-up cases. Uh, these, generally speaking, except maybe the, the later Chile ones, uh, those, those get pretty hard. Uh, but, you know, the first few of these, these, um, they're all kind of nice warm-up things. Um, but, yeah, there's like 150 uh, free cases in total, of which, you know, half appeared during 2025. Um and every reason to think that that number is just going to keep growing. So uh, no no excuse to, to run out of these. The other thing to mention here is this tracker has, uh, this last column has the link to where to get the case. Uh, these two columns have links to videos. I'll talk about YouTube channels more in a minute, but this is uh, my video if I've done one, and these are other videos that I track from a whole bunch of different channels. It's not always bang up to date, um, like the last month or so is usually not in there at any given time uh, but if you're looking at something older uh, that's that's a good place to find it um, if you try one of the cases you're having trouble you watch one of the videos you're like what the heck that doesn't make any sense then a good place to go is one of these two uh, courses so this is one that Giles and I made uh, about two years ago start of 2024 um, we just called it XL Esports Bootcamp um, and it's a mix of Videos by Giles that are that are sort of um, background, like the, you know, I talked about like left as one of the kind of basic functions that you need. Like Giles goes through the basic text functions: right, left, len, find, mid, text split, text before, text after, text to columns and flash fill, that kind of thing. So he he does the the sort of foundations, and then I do the sort of esports side of things. So like you know, it's mostly short tips, but like things like how to count, how many times. Uh, character occurs in a string, how to split a string into letters, um, you know, managing upper and lower case, dealing with wildcards, dealing with emojis. Um, so we had, we basically structured it as like one week that was sort of text week, one week that was lookup week, um, and then a few other kind of bits and bobs. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty good walkthrough. And then the other one, uh, the more recent one still being built uh, as we speak, uh, this is Hayden's uh, full Excel esports course. Uh, he's kind of laid out a whole map of it here. Uh, you know, the fundamentals that go across everything, the different game types, data, game, map, programming. Uh, and he's working through that at the moment. He just started into the game column. Um, so this is, a, again, a great resource there. He's up to 15 videos. They're all, uh, they're all kind of pretty short. Um, that's, that's well worth a look. Um, and then once you've got the hang of it, or, you know, ideally, I would recommend before you've got the hang of it, uh, the next place to come is over here, uh, which is where you can buy your either season pass or individual battle passes uh, to take part in this year's battle. Uh, battles, I should say. Um, and then the last thing to mention on the more sort of social side of things <clears throat> is first, there's a whole bunch of YouTube channels. Obviously, you're watching mine. I've got one. Um, there's there's much subjectivity in the order in which I've laid these out, but uh, the the top four here are all kind of posting fairly regularly um, and by and large solving the cases in more approachable ways than I do because I tend to do things that are pretty funky and obscure. Uh, so this is uh, Breaking Excel. This is Ben Gutcher. Uh, he was one of the the finalists. Uh, in Las Vegas last year, uh, Lorenzo Foti, who uh, who memorably uh, is this year's Dim Slayer, knocked me out uh, in the during the knockouts. Um, Hayden, who's one of the top UK players, um, and Eric, who's one of the top US players, uh, and also memorably was the uh, the sort of AI superstar uh, 
who sort of proved the point that AI needed to be banned in the competition uh, by by very kind of well by winning, uh, but by also very kind of publicly sharing his uh, his explorations of using AI to solve cases. Um, so yeah, the, these four are the kind of the most regularly posting and most kind of the balance of regularly posting and down to earth. Um, then Excel Gladiator, Jeremy, uh, and Excel with Excel, Julian. Um, are, Julian has gone a little quieter lately, um, and Jeremy has not posted as much, but uh, these guys both um, do some pretty cool kind of single cell uh, solutions. And then Bo is just a, a tear unto himself. Um, he calls himself the Excel Wizard, and that is a, a rightly deserved name. Uh, but it is, when when you've graduated from all of these guys, and then graduated from my channel, and it's all too basic for you, <laughs> uh, Bo is the place to go because he is very much at the cutting edge. Um, and it, that's it's actually doing him a bit of a disservice to describe it that way because. Uh, it's not that he only does crazy cutting edge stuff. He also does like very helpful explainers, um, you know, talking through his logic of building formulas. He he kind of live streams almost everything. Um, so you can kind of see him debug. Um, yeah, great channel. Could not recommend too highly. Um, th this is just kind of some of the bigger ones, but there are like 20 other, you know, intermittently posting uh, channels that that do post videos about uh, Excel esports, so lots to check out there. And then the last thing to mention is that there is a WhatsApp community, um, which <laughs> this is an excerpt from a message one of the uh, one of the uh, moderators shared recently with an overview of what's included. So <laughs> there's there's like thirty or twenty or thirty different groups. You don't have to join them all, obviously, uh, but you know there's study groups for you know people who are taking part in the MEWC, the Financial Modeling World Cup, uh, the Collegiate Challenge. Um, you know, study group makes it sound a little serious. It's also the kind of banter about this stuff group. Uh, there's a social group for general chat. There's a group that's just for finding people to play with on the platform. So if you say, hey, I've, I'm free to play in 20 minutes, who's around? You'll usually find someone to play with you, which just makes it a little bit more fun. Um, there's a few kind of technical things, so like groups sharing ideas about lambdas, groups sharing ideas about OA robot commands, that kind of thing. Uh, there's usually kind of event-specific chats, like who's going to Vegas, who's going to the Global Excel Summit, a um, bunch of local chapter things, lots of other stuff. Um, point being that uh, there is a like ridiculously welcoming group of human beings uh, who you know would be happy to to welcome you, to answer your questions, to you know to to basically just be be excellent uh, excellent people so if you've been looking at all this wondering what the heck and could this maybe be for me i think it probably is uh if, if this seems like your kind of thing then these are your kind of people uh, and i hope you join us that's all i got for today back to regular solve videos soon i was going to say tomorrow but then i don't want to overcommit